Welcome back to Pearly Guys. We are going to go right into our ace match here between Samson Galaxy Khan and the Jinair Green Wings. I am Valdez. Joined with me today is Moonglade, as always. How are you doing? What are you thinking about this ace match? I am so excited for this ace match. A ZVZ ace match. You never get to see this. It's going to be good. It's going to be on Foxtrot. Could be aggressive. Could be a long game, Valdez. Man, I hope it's a long one. I hope we see roaches and more roaches. Maybe an infester or two thrown in there. Looking at the predictions here, seems like Kanata the only person who went for Solar here. I actually saw that in the chat. They were making fun of him for it. All other five of us went for Rogue. I think overall, just the more solid player. Definitely a super strong Zerg, where a Solar, he was good at one point. He even won a dream hack over Sue, but he wasn't able to continue with those results. But guys, we're going to jump right into this game between Solar and Rogue. Down here in the bottom left in the red, the Samsung Galaxy Con Zerg. It is Solar. Up here in the top right, we do have Rogue. On his second chance of the day, has to win this one, or he will be ashamed of himself, and Junaid will have lost <laughs> the match. Yeah. He's talking about Solar here. Um... Able to win a dream hack, and now he's coming back. Well, that's what it's all about, right? That's exactly what we're talking about. Last year, Sola was on top of his game. He was looking fine. He was doing great. He was traveling. He was winning tournaments, looking like he'd be one of those one of the best Zergs in the world, one of those upcoming players. But uh, since then, he's kind of dropped off since he came back to Korea. Been playing in a buttload of online tournaments, not getting much done there, not getting much done offline now. So that's why we did see that big swing of votes going towards Rogue in the uh, predictions. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, this guy is also in the round of 16 of the SSL. Performing quite well there, really coming into his own, getting that confidence back in that group. We talked about that a little bit earlier today. And so far for both players, seems like we... Well, the drone comes out here for Solar, whereas Rogue, <laughs> he's going safe. What yeah, do we say? He's going safe. He's uh, maybe a little rattled. From that game, and he's like, okay, I'll, uh, I'll play this one straight up. I don't want to have one of those games again. Yeah, and Solar very smartly here, just going to go ahead and go hatch first because he may have just read into that. He's like, oh, you got teased out in the last game in ZBZ. I can just use that mindset against you where he knows he's going to play safe. Yeah, I mean, Solar even going for a 16 gas, just being straight up greed, as greedy as he can be. And we are seeing that delayed hatchery from Rogue. Rogue knows for sure it ain't no temple now, now that he's seen that second overlord on the map. Mm -hmm. Gas here taken for Rogue after he just put down that hatchery, so looking to get speed here at least. Whereas Solar also getting that gas, as you mentioned before. Rogue still going for gas. Granted, it will be delayed, but he will not be foregoing speedlings or bailings anytime soon. This is definitely the uh, the map to go it on, especially in these positions, because look how big that natural is. There's no way you're going to make a SimCity there to defend yourself against Speedling aggression. So you're going to have to go Speedlings, you're going to have to go Banelings, and from there, transition into whatever you want, Roaches or Muters. Either work, depends on how the early game goes, depends what you want to do. Very German lead. This Overlord is going to have to skedaddle. Out of there. First two uh, links. I almost said Roach just come out here for Rogue. Gonna just try to come in the main base and maybe get a scout down. But four links do come out for Solar. They're gonna surround one, but the other one does get in. It's gonna get a full scout of the main base. Yeah, he knows exactly what kind of builder he's up against. He knows exactly when Speedlings are gonna be on the map. Should be around 5 minutes 40, 5 minutes 50. That's the kind of the window where he's gotta be a little bit worried, gotta be prepared for anything that could come across the map. I'm sure we are going to see a banding follow-up for both players. 
There's the first one. <laughs> and the second one as well. Both players going for Bane Links, like you did mention before. Now three Links trying to poke at the front, but not any links, able to get much done. Any Links you can get early is a good thing. Uh, I mean, any Links on the map like this are potential Bane Links for when more Zedlings just run across the map and they already have spawn uh, Bane Links at the natural. So you do want to kind of try and push them back as best you can as we are seeing Rogue do so. In the time he has. Speed just about to finish though. For Solar, he'd be able to run away. He had to hide them in somewhere nice. And a spine crawler for Solar. But none for Rogue just yet. Rogue just being a little bit more greedy. Yep, and good scout here right when that speed does finish. He's gonna see everything. And since the speed is not done for Rogue, he can't really catch up. Now it's done. The link can even just go right back into the main base. And look at this Roach Warren coming out of Solar. Yeah. And a bunch of gas being taken, too. No same lair. Time. No lair just yet, either, which is a big mention, Velez. Very, very big. If we don't see it anytime soon, I think we could see a Roach Bane a sort of a time and go down. Well, he's making a lot of leagues oh. in the meantime, as well. Uses a bailing to, de to deny the scouting, as well. And, uh-oh. We are seeing a possible muter tech from I actually we are definitely seeing a muted tech so build order advantage goes to Solar right now Solar can kill him there's simply going to be almost nothing he can do uh, against it and yeah. we, there comes the roaches roaches a lot of overlords to free up that supply as well and for now it looks like he's just gonna park himself in between those uh, overlords okay here we go some link scouts getting into the main base oh he sees everything he is he didn't see the Roach Warren at the back. Oh. He didn't go all the way back. He doesn't have to, Valos. He knows because he did not see a lair morphing at all. He okay, puts down okay. three more spine crawlers. He's making his what he can, but man, he is in big trouble. Roach Baneling against Ling Baneling. Roach Baneling come out on top every single time. He's got to get those spines up in time. And he might actually do it. He might have seen it just in time. They're half done already. Roaches are only just starting to move across the map now. More spine crawlers are being added. Oh my god, there's if, so many spine crawlers, seven of them. If he can defend against this, he will have muters in time. He has to defend against this, and he has to not take too much economic damage. Those are the two things he's got to count on more than anything else. He's not going to get roaches out in time. He's not going to get anything but Ling and Baneling, and that's a lot of Baneling for Rogue as well. He can get decent Baneling hits on this. Let's see how well these spine crawlers help out. The Banelings come in. Not the greatest hits. I mean, all the Lings in the back do survive, but there are more Banelings in here. They do trade with the Banelings. But still a lot of speedlings remain, but still Rogue has a ton of banelings in the back. He does. He's making more and more links. More spine crawlers finish. That is five spine crawlers, six soon. And these roaches are gonna try and find what they can. But big bailing hits can slow them down, no doubt about that. And Ling's running in. I don't know if there's gonna be enough. We are seeing more more bailings being added. Great transfuse. Really good transfuses coming out, and more Banelings now poking through. But all the roaches have gone down, and Solar's only following up with more army units. Bailing tries to come into the main, as well as some links, but they're not going to get much damage done. Rogue, I think he stopped this. He might have stopped it. He's got to make sure the Bailings do not get up that ramp. Repositioning his Spine Crawlers like this. Getting rid of that, <laughs> that Spine Crawler from Solar on Solar. Now in a horrible position, and we are going to see Mutus come out from Rogue in just a moment. Try his best to deny this third base, though. The creep spread for Solar is pretty good. He might actually be able to get away with putting it down soon. First Muta popping out. Solo Muta. Okay, there we go. We got two on the way now. Not going to commit to too much just yet. Yeah. Okay, there we go. I think he might be just a little low on Lave, so he's yeah. trying to get them out as best he can. Third goes down for Solar. It's a good sort of opportunity for him. He's not too far behind by any means. He does have the creep spread to put down some spores and be pretty safe from just about anything. And I think but showing these meters a little too early could be a bit of a mistake for Rogue at this point. He might be able to get some uh, overlords. But without any spore crawlers beginning in the third base specifically, there is a chance that there might just be enough muters to take down these queens. Yeah. And we did see it. one is coming up. So that is going to be very important, as you did mention. Both players taking their third bases at around the same time. So, I mean, after that big engagement, would you give the advantage to either player here? I'm going to give the advantage... Uh, Definitely the advantage to Rogue at this point. Mm -hmm. He has a tech advantage. He's going into Roaches now. He's got map control with these Munis. He's going to be finding a lot of damage with these Munis as well. He's already found out a few Overlords. He's going to continue to do so. 
And he's gonna kill the creep. He's gonna reset the creep on the map for Solar. So a much more of a comfortable position for Rogue at this point. Yeah. Taking a look at some numbers here, we do see Rogue is ahead. It seems six drones. So it's gonna be a little bit better at that third base in terms of saturating it, but Solar is quickly catching up. Something's gonna be caught out here. Not gonna be able to do much. With this queen count we do see from Solar, one thing that I'm sure is in the back of uh, Rogue's mind right now is that there's potential for a Nidus. Like a Roach Nidus sort of could be the next threat that he has to deal with, so he's gonna be very careful. Gotta be making sure he's vigilant and checking the map. Because, I mean, when you have this many queens, you gotta have a use of them, right? They're, sure, they're good at defending against, like, Ling Muta. But besides that, they're gonna be going into the, the mid to late game kind of horribly. They're not gonna have really any purpose, just a sort of a supply sink. Yeah, that is a good point, Moonlade. I mean, with these Mutas, one thing he can do is just get a very nice scout of the main base as long as he just circles in, as he is doing now. Gonna see what's what. May even be able to snipe a gas here. Yeah, very important considering how few gases we do see from Solar. Another massive kind of blunder we are seeing from Solar is the fact that he is not upgrading his roaches whatsoever. Now this is kind of like, it is it is a horrible mistake because he can afford it, he just hasn't done it. It is like a mistake on a level, like a, a whole new level of mistake because <laughs> when we see Rogue get to the plus two at least, there's going to be such a big disparity in damage that it's gonna it's gonna be completely one-sided so long as both parties have similar supply. Oh man, Rogus is doing such a nice job here. He's actually gonna engage, having some banelings hit the lings in the front here. It does seem like Solar has a slightly higher count in roaches though, but both players just getting a decent uh, concave for now. But again, that plus one has been finished here for Rogue, where it's not up for Solar. Yeah, and I think the the defender's advantage will break through for now. Until the units come in, he's going to be forced back to the spore at least. And Rogue might just have to pull back for now. He knows that Burrow movement has been upgraded on these roaches now that they have spikes. And he's going to have to be careful with that, adding some spines to the third base. Looks like he's going to continue to press the attack though. Yeah, I mean, even with that uh, defender's advantage that Solar did have, it seemed like Rogue was still able to stick around, you know? Most of the time, if the players are even and they go for an attack, they're going to have to back off and go all the way back to their base as a counterattack usually comes in and then they get their own reinforcements and it goes back and forth. Norotos just likes to make fun of that a lot of the time. <laughs> but here we go. Rogue's still able to put on the pressure once again. He has that plus one done. Yeah, he has got a pretty decent su a brute supply, though I don't think it's going to be enough in this situation. The concave's... Just not enough for him. I don't know about this. Some drones even getting into the fight here. Losing a couple there is Solar. But again, more reinforcements out of Rogue coming into the fight, actually, and still confident to press on. Yeah, he might have enough this time with more coming in. Still has that upgrade advantage, so he's got that going for him. But always, the uh, defense, defender's advantage is always going to help out tremendously in this kind of situation. Yeah, definitely will. And especially with those queens coming in and doing some nice transfuses. Although Rogue is still somehow sticking around here, that plus one is just helping out so, so much. He's going to continue to like trade just a little bit better so long as the, the Yamis are similar size. And with plus two almost finishing, he might actually have enough at this point. Oh, and especially with Burrow, he can easily make her this. And it seems like he's actually just won this fight so for now. Even with the defender's advantage, the Mutas in the main base at the same time getting more damage on oh, 15 whoa. drones going down. What? Yeah, just one awkward sort of position for that spore was not enough. And now we're seeing Rogue just completely overwhelm Solar. Yep, Solar looks like his time is up here in this game. Rogue now getting a plus two even ahead of the plus one of Solar. Nothing left here for Solar. GG. Jinner take it, 3-2. So Rogue, he does get that victory he wanted today. Kind of redeeming himself in the matchup. Even starting off slightly behind with that pool first in the greedy solar but able to hold off and just play better overall he got that link scout in man he knew exactly what was going on and he got his spine cores up in time as well as sufficient amount of banelings and links to kind of just buffer for them i love rogue as a player he's so so cool to watch just getting that scout is so important seems like we're not going to have an interview to get today guys so that's pretty much going to be it here Rogue. Kanata was not impressed with anyone today. Yeah, he's like, ah, oh, nah, just forget it. It's a new, new <laughs> MVP of this game.
No, I think the main reason is just that uh, the show on TV is probably meant to end at 11. And since we've just gone over 11, I think they're looking to end the day here. That's fair enough. Yeah. And, yeah, it's great to see Brig with another great win. So, uh, you know, he has a lot of ups and downs. He's still got a lot to work through. And he definitely gets a bit too emotional when he loses. But still, it's good to see someone with that kind of emotion as well and get frustrated. Yeah. and Because he cares so much about winning. He's looking to make a name for himself. He's definitely a very strong player. But here we go, guys. Here is the match result of today. SOS taking out Armani, finally winning against Zerg. Hurricane and Shine able to take two games against Trap and Rogue, respectively. But then Cure takes out Stork, who came out in his first game today. And then Rogue, finally able to get that win against Solar in a ZBZ. Yep, getting some redemption today. And Solar still struggling in his games. We haven't seen the Solar of last year yet. But no, uh, not yet. I got faith. I got faith he'll be back. Yeah. I mean, a player who's that talented to actually do that well at some point in his career, if he just returns back to his old, you know, practice schedule and just really focuses, I'm sure he can come back. And here we go, guys. Here is what we got so far after today. We're going to have more matches tomorrow to really see exactly how things line up here. But uh, so far, SK Telecom at the top. Start to Yoey do get second place here. But if CJ Antis does win tomorrow, they will grab that second place spot. Junior Greenwings now in fourth place having won their last game, and I think they've uh, pretty much secured it there. It looks like it's in solo position, Valdez. And here's a look at the winner's rankings. And who did we see win today? Cure, Cure. did well for himself. Life uh, lost the game. Stats won another game. He gets up there. Yeah, I know good. I actually saw a thread on the StarCraft thread about this guy being very underrated. He definitely is a super, super strong player, especially against Zerg, able to take out Life today, which yeah. is uh, no easy feat, of course. Rogue, he does get one win, one loss. Goes up to 4-2 now. And Zest, another loss up there at uh, 11 games played, but he's lost three in a row. Yeah, not looking good going into the uh, into the playoffs, I, I got to say. Bit worrying. Yeah, it definitely is. And now Maybe taking a look the at the, uh, the matches for tomorrow, it is going to be, a, again, 7 o'clock. And it's going to be SK Telecom T1 versus CJ Antis. CJ Antis definitely looking to take a win and get the second place spot. Then we got Prime versus MVP. And here we go for Thursday with the uh, the final group of the Star League. TY versus Dark and Dream versus Maru. Man, what a sick group. It's going to be oh stacked. My God. I can't wait to see how Dark's going to deal with three Terrans. And I think he's, he's going to deal quite fine, man. That guy uh, is actually such a huge badass. He is so good. Maru comes back. We're going to get to see him once again. Dream, we get to see his CVT. I am so excited for that one, actually. Even more so than uh, tomorrow, to be honest. Yeah, I can it's agree with that. Sick. Yeah, Doc is just such a such a new flavor of Zerg going yeah, through no, against Terran and stuff. It's just funky, man. Well, guys, that's going to do it for us. This was a great day. We had a lot of great matches, but... Uh, catch us tomorrow, of course, and on Twitter, I'm Brennan Valdez. He's Moonglade AU. Definitely follow us there and uh, tweet at us when you want. But for all of us here